The stars illuminate all mortal destinies, though few have eyes to perceive their meaning. But Mona, an astrologist newly arrived in Mondstadt, is able to read the fates of others through stars reflected in the water. But while no phenomenon is hidden from the astrologist Mona, she struggles often with the minutia of daily life. It is a most common predicament. The more you seek truth, the more simple joys elude you. This was ordained by fate. Long had I foreseen it. Mona has skill that matches her reputation. As a hydro-aligned catalyst user, she masters the battlefield with ease, controlling the situation and creating openings for her teammates to attack. As a student of all things in and under the night sky, Mona also has a strong grasp of weapon construction. In truth, she finds that most weapons are wastefully made. When she crafts weapon ascension materials, she has a chance to recover a portion of the materials used. Mona's normal attack performs up to four strikes that deal hydro damage. Holding the attack button consumes a set amount of stamina and deals area of effect hydro damage after a short casting time. Mona creates a Phantom of Fate from coalesced water. This Phantom taunts nearby enemies and deals continuous hydro damage to them. The Phantom explodes when its duration expires, dealing area of effect hydro damage to enemies. Holding the elemental skill button causes Mona to ride a flow of water backwards and summon her phantom. This skill has many applications. The phantom can be used to taunt enemies, making them wet and priming them for attacks from Mona's allies. It can also help her out of a pinch. When Mona sprints, she cloaks herself in flowing water, consuming stamina to move rapidly. Ending this skill causes Mona to emerge, getting nearby enemies wet. Illusory Torrent also allows Mona to travel swiftly over water. Once her first passive talent is unlocked, Mona can create a phantom automatically, if she maintains this skill for a certain period of time with an enemy nearby. Upon you. Mona summons sparkling waves and creates a reflection of the starry sky, applying the wet and illusory bubble statuses onto all enemies in the area. When affected by illusory bubble, weaker enemies will be imprisoned and unable to move. Attacking imprisoned enemies removes that status from them and deals an instance of hydro damage. When the status is cleared, the enemy comes under an omen Enemies affected by an omen take more damage. On the ever-changing battlefield, Mona's capacity for control cannot be overlooked. This astrologist aids her team at critical moments, controlling the field and maximizing her teammates' damage. As the battle begins, she first summons a phantom. It taunts enemies and lets her switch out using the opening created to cooperate with her teammates and deal massive damage to enemies. She uses these combined techniques to control enemies, allowing the party to damage them safely. Once the time is right, she uses her elemental burst to entrap enemies and attacks them to trigger damage bonus effects. This way, she can defeat the weakened enemies before her all in good time. Mona's hydromancy is indeed unique. No one can deny her intelligence and talent. Within Mondstadt, there are few who possess the ability and a desire to seek truth equal to hers. But beware, O oh young seeker. You must sacrifice your all to unravel the world's secrets. Can the astrologist Mona truly bear such a burden? <laughs>